thing you need for class. I am using a mini band, a mat, and eight pound weights today. If you don't have any of that equipment, it's totally fine. You can do it body weight. Um, if you don't have a mat, I would go grab a bath mat for your knees. Um, if you're not on your hands, Siobhan, for example, we can always do things on the forearms. If you've got something to elevate your forearms, that might be nice. Um, what else? I think that's it. Format is as follows. Five blocks of work. We'll warm up for about three and a half minutes. First block will be our cardio block. Everything is body weight in that block. Second block will be our strength block. We'll need just our eight pound dumbbells for that block. Third block is our core block. We'll need one dumbbell and a mat for that block. Fourth block, we're back at strength. And I think for that block, we just, oh, we need our mini band, our mat, and our, and our eights. So, or our weights, whatever weights you've got. And final block, you'll just need your mat for it. So don't worry, I will make sure to keep you informed as we work out. Um, if you have any injuries I'm unaware of, please pop it in the chat or feel free to pop yourself off mute and let me know what's going on. I'm muting everybody. Cool, are we ready? Thumbs up. We are not starting the playlist yet. So go ahead and make your way over to your space. Just bring your feet, I would say shoulder width apart. Take a deep breath in, reach the arms up. Exhale the arms at the sides, shake anything out that doesn't feel like it's gonna serve you for the workout or even for your day. And then we're gonna make our way over to our playlist and hit play. So I'm, I'm just kneeling down to grab my phone and put my playlist on. So we're gonna hit that in four, three, two, one. Hit play now. And then walk back to your, I just totally canceled out of Spotify. This is hilarious. There we go. Hit play now. She's, she's getting it together. It's, you know, nobody's perfect, not least of all me. So then come back to your space, warm up pretty basic. I'm gonna have you start with your feet nice and wide apart. Soften the knees and we're just gonna rock to our toes and our heels. Toes and heels toes and I'm adding my arms mostly for balance so if you want to come with me on that you can and if not perfectly fine good two more last one rocking back rocking forward I want you to drop it into a squat give me a pulse and a knee squat pulse and knee squat pulse and knee from the side I look like this squat pulse it down lift that knee up do it again on the right, last time on the left, and we're going to go right into rotation to the right and the left. Awesome. So as you reach across your torso, your upper body stays nice and long. Shoulders stay packed. So if this is bothering any shoulders, feel free to bend the elbow, make it a little bit shorter of a lever. Good. Two more. Last one, we go into our hinge, hands on hips. I hinge, hold, squeeze, roll the shoulders and rise. Hinge, hold, squeeze the seat, roll the shoulders and rise. Do it again. Hinge, hold here, rise and roll. Last one, hinge, hold, rise, shoulder roll. We're gonna take the hold out. Hinge and rise. Hinge and rise, hands to the head, hinge and rise. Two more, hinge and rise. Last one, it's a hinge and rise. Good, if you're jumping today, we're gonna do a little kick forward. If you're not jumping today, I just want you to take that hop out and kick it a little bit forward like this. You can kick a little higher if you want. We're just getting that coordination going. So legs and arms and torso all working together, getting that heart rate up for just a few more seconds here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Plant the feet. It's a front curtsy, kick it back. Front curtsy, kick it back. Doesn't have to be big right now. Just focus on kind of getting used to the idea of crossing in front of the shin of the left. I am pressing off of the left heel. So if you look at me from the side, I'm coming across and then kicking back. 
across, kicking back. Switch your sides. So balancing on the right, left cross, kick to the heel. Left cross, kick to the heel. Six, and kick. Five, and kick. Four, and kick. Pressing into the big toe ball down of the, the right side. Two more. Last one. Good, I want you to bring it into a raise the roof with the arms. We will be doing some overhead pressing today. So if overhead press feels really crappy on the shoulders, when we do this, we have an upright row combo. I would just do two upright rows instead of that so that the shoulders stay packed. Three, two, one. Hands to the heart. It's lean right, lean left. I want you to imagine you're in a boxing match and you're just kind of slipping away from your opponent. The hands are in front of me so that I'm guarding my face. Three, two, one. And one, are we feeling warm? Just a little bit warm, enough warm. We don't wanna expend all of our energy in the beginning. So we're gonna get started in block number one. This is a body weight block, low impact cardio, some high impact options. We have two rounds of four actions, each action 45 seconds. Team, we get started in three seconds. First thing you're doing, side step, body weight fly. I'm gonna lean forward and pull the arms back. In three, two, one, we go. It's step and switch. Now, Mandy, if I wanted to make it harder, could I grab some dumbbells? Sure. Just remember, we have five blocks of work. Two of them are loaded, meaning two of them will have our dumbbells with us. So I like to start and end with more body weight, more full range. So you do you. I just want to see, I want you to see me from the side. So my back is still flat. I'm not rounding my back. I'm squeezing my shoulder blades towards my spinal column for eight, six, four, three, two, plant the feet. It's cross push, cross push. So with my feet planted, look, my heel popping off the floor. Now, if you want to make this a little bigger, drop into the side, drop in, drop. Push and drop. Nice little hips stretch. Low impact cardio. Doesn't mean that it's easy. Can you keep up with the beat? Use your breath. There's no wrong answer on breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the nose. It's totally cool. You do you. Last four, three, two, so you're going to do jumping jack legs. If you're not jumping, you're stepping the feet. Otherwise, arms down. Good. Right arm, left arm, right arm, left arm, right, left, right out, left out, right. Now, if that's too much for you, focus on the legs and maybe just keep the arms right in front of the heart or at the sides. Good. Eight, seven, six, nothing is perfect. You're just working on yourself. Last three, two, one. All right, I did this in the warm up because I thought it was a little confusing. You're gonna kick that heel forward. I'm gonna call this the John Hughes because it's like a John Hughes movie, right, Mary? I did, I actually thought of Mary when I came up with this today. Nice, push. Good. Kind of get your upper body into a little side lean. 20 seconds. Remember modification. You're just kicking. No need to jump, right? There's options. Flex your toes. Woo! My heart rate's up. Come with me. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, 30 seconds to rest. All right. We do all of that again. You got a few moments to just catch your breath. Now that you've learned it, we hone it. We really try to like carve it out and make it the best because we don't see it again. All right. We start with the side step fly. We'll go to the right side first. Feet together, hinge the waist. Good. Arms down, shoulders back. Timer starts, open right. If 
I wanted to make this harder, I would sink a little bit lower, take a bigger step, fly those arms up and back. So if you'll notice here, I'm not flying them above my shoulder. They're coming directly out to the side, right at my chest height. All right, the more I lean, the more work on my abdominals. So your call, 12 seconds. Next up is the cross push with that little split lunge. We go in four, three, two, left to right. It's left and right. Drop in and push, push, push. Try on your rotation. Perhaps you can kind of see behind you on that rotation. Nice, Amanda. Good, Elaine. Nice, Siobhan. Get it, Keiko. Push. 25 more seconds. Can you keep up? Can you keep up with the pace you set at the top of this 45 seconds? Nice, Mary. Almost there, team. You've got eight. You've got that jack with the arms in three, two, come with me, legs, arms at the thighs. Left up, right up, left out, right out, left up. Why would I do this instead of just a traditional jumping jack? Coordination, I have to think. I'm not just mindlessly moving. <sighs> yes, and if you make a mistake, is it really a mistake? Or can you just own wherever you're at and play with that, right? There's no wrong answer here. So I just started with my right arm. Maybe I wanna start with my left arm next. Then my right arm, maybe. Really think about it. Left arm, four, three, two. John Hughes, it's up and kick. I'm just gonna add a little torso twist. So from the side, my elbow, is coming across to my thigh. If you're not doing the impact reversion, I can still do that. Kick it, kick it. We have a couple of these crossed legs today, but in conjunction with that, we've got some abduction. So we're working inner thighs, outer thighs, seat and thighs together. So I'm finishing with that low impact version for 10 seconds. Stay strong team. It's the end of block one. We won't see any of this again. Count it down for four, three, two, time. Cheers. You get a minute. So in your next block, which is our strength block, you need your weights and that's it. Um, it's progressive, meaning we'll start with one move. We'll add a move. Then we'll add another move in the third exercise and then the fourth exercise is totally different. If you don't have dumbbells, it's okay. Otherwise dumbbells and hands, all right? Make sure you got a nice light grip on those dumbbells. So if you're like white knuckling them, try to wiggle out the fingers here and there. I like to add my thumbs kind of, kind of onto the head of the dumbbell because it keeps my wrist nice and neutralized. Everybody's different. Everybody's body is built differently. So listen to me with a little bit of a grain of salt, right? So we did a lot of hinges in the top for a reason. <clears throat> We're starting here. So roll the shoulders back, hinge at the dumb, at the weight, reach the dumbbells forward, bring them back to your shins and squeeze to rise. Let's go. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, rise. Shh. Roll it back and squeeze. Reach those dumbbells and squeeze the seat. Notice my back, my back stays nice and flat here. Weight is primarily in the heels of the feet. Now, your next add-on, we're gonna keep going with this hinge and reach. When we rise, we're gonna add an alternated upright row for 45 seconds. Eight, seven, six. Give me one more without that upright row on the right. Three, two, rise. Here we go. Hinge, reach, rise, and pull. Hinge, reach, rise, pull the opposite. Hinge, reach, rise, pull. Inhale, exhale. Reach. Now the add-on in the next section is going to be 
bilateral upright row to an overhead press. So it's not going to be as smooth as what's going on right here. You got 10 more seconds. Showing this to you from the side again. Reach both arms. Sorry, that was my, my mistake here. I'll do it again. Reach both arms, upright row. And here we go. Now it's a bilateral upright row. So reach, rise, row, flip, press, return. Reach, row, flip, press, and return. So if the overhead press isn't working, we talked about it, I could do two upright rows here instead. Totally your call. Showing this to you from the side on the other side this time. Upright row, flip the palms, press overhead. Reach, upright, overhead. You got 10 more seconds. Now the last thing we're doing has nothing to do with all of this, except for that overhead press. I'm gonna show you what's up. Three, two, finish the rep out. Separate your feet, bring the arms right over the shoulders. Good. It's a squat and press. Squat, press. Whew. Mandy, I can't press both my arms. I can't press either arm. Maybe I alternate my arms. Maybe I just keep my arms right here as I finish my squats. So listen to your shoulders, listen to your body, listen to your abs, and finish out this first round with this beautiful Rihanna track. Okay, squeeze your butt, you got five seconds. Four, three, two, and that's the end of the first set of block number two, our strength block. It's a lot, I'm sweating more from that than I did on the cardio block. So, oh no, you guys, I grabbed a towel that my cat definitely sat on. So now I've got fur all over my face. Cat problems. All right, so we go here. Grab your dumbbells, progressive action, right? So we're gonna start with that hinge and reach. If the reach is too much, take it out. If you wanna make it harder, step your feet closer together. Here we go. And rise and roll. Hinge, reach. <sighs> Plug those shoulders in. Back is flat, reach those arms forward. Roll those shoulders down and back. Toes and knees point forward. Notice, can you flex your feet? Really lift those toes and put a lot of weight in the heels of your feet. Reach. Give me 10 more seconds with just the reach. We've got alternating upright rows to add into this. I'll start with my left. Three, two, and join me here. It's a reach. Single arm upright, reach, single arm upright. Wrist stays neutral, Shh. reach. Showing this again from the side. Reach the arms, rise and pull. Just breathe, it doesn't have to be perfect, just breathe into it. Now, next up, we've got the bilateral upright row in about eight seconds. It's both arms. We got excited about this single arm row here. Reach and pull. Give me one more. Three, two. Now, we do both. Hinge, reach, upright, overhead. Woo! Hinge, reach, pull, and press. Right, soften the knees, hinge, reach, zip it up, press it overhead. Showing this to you from the side. Hinge, reach the arms, zip up that parka, overhead press. Showing you full expression from the back of the room. Reach, upright, overhead. Palms face forward on that overhead military press. Yep, give me one more, you got time. Reach and pull and press, separate the feet. Here we go, squat and press, squat and press. Careful that you're not doing one of these numbers with your back. So if you want, turn yourself to the side. Keep your feet wide apart. 
Drop in and squeeze your butt, but pull the rib cage in. Drop down, pull the rib cage in, as if you're trying to brace your abdominals from somebody punching you right in the ribs. Good. Give me 10. Nine. You got time for just two more reps. Give me one more rep after this. This is three. This is two. And that's the end of your strength block. So in your next block, you'll need your mat and you'll need one dumbbell. So what I'm going to do right now in our minute break is set myself up with my mat. Now I realize I'm wearing dark clothing and my mat is dark. I'm going to do my best to make sure y'all see me moving in this position. Okay. But if you have questions, just pop them into the chat. We doing all right? Cheers. Cool. I wish I had a different towel, but it is what it is, right? Hmm. You just need one dumbbell. So setting up on the ground, excuse me, setting up uh, standing, right now. You stand first. So you're gonna start with that dumbbell in front of the heart, feet as wide as the mat. You're gonna bring it across and switch, all right? So we're really getting into the obliques and the abs. Timer starts in three, two, one, begin. Rotate. You're drawing a rainbow with your feet staying planted, bend your knees. It's like almost like a little standing crunch. It's like you're putting your weight into your side pockets. Oh man, this is a little cardiovascular too. You're welcome. If having the weight overhead is too much, you can always just bring it right in front of the chin, right in front of the chin, make it smaller. Otherwise make it bigger if you're looking for a little more. Five, four, three, you do not need your dumbbell, set it down to the side. Meet me in downward facing dog. So in down dog, you could also be in dolphin if being on the hands isn't working. We're gonna shift forward, reach the right arm, come back, grab the shin. Forward, reach the opposite arm, come back and twist. I'll show this to you from the side. Keep going with this. Down dog, shift to plank, reach. Come back, twist with the opposite arm. Plank, reach, 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 the opposite arm. It's thinking. You got time for one more, three, two, and one. Awesome, we're gonna come down to the hands and knees. Curl the toes, lift off the knees and hold. You're holding still. So I know I'm wearing dark pants and a dark mat, but there's space between my knees and the floor. My hands are directly underneath my shoulders. Toes are curled. This one is the only static hold of our entire workout. Team, you've got 13 more seconds. You're breathing, you're smiling, you're glad you're here. If being on the hands is too much, forearms are great. You've got five, four, three, two. Lower the knees, grab that single dumbbell that I talked about earlier. Dumbbell's gonna go on the thigh of the right and in the hand of the right. Left hand is gonna come behind the head. I'm gonna rise up and lower back. Rise up, try to let those feet hover. I'm just holding my dumbbell with my right hand. My left hand is holding my head. Rock back, rock up. Mandy, if rocking isn't working, then what else can I do? Maybe I hold here and just hold still. Maybe I just play with kind of shifting my body weight up and down, right? There's no wrong answer. Now, the next time we do this, it'll be the left hand. This is three, two, one, and you are done with the first round of core. The only time that we're doing things where next round, we have to remember we have to do the left arm because we only did the right for that fourth exercise. Don't worry, I'm actually saying it out loud for me. I won't forget, I have it written down and everything. Okay, come on back. Grab your single dumbbell. Start with it right in front of your chest. Timer starts, it's left, right. 
Twist your torso. My feet are not moving. I'm just rotating my torso, rounding, bringing that connectivity into my sides, into my middle. You've got 18 seconds. Yes, how about this queen remix? Almost there, eight, seven, six. Just a few more seconds and we'll hit down dog. No weight needed. Three, two, set your dumbbell down. Meet me in down dog. I'm just gonna move my mat out of the way so you can definitely see this. So down dog, I shift to plank, reach the left arm, right arm touches. Down dog, shift to plank, reach. Opposite arm touches. Down dog, reach and touch. Down dog, reach and touch. Listen, I'm moving at a pace that feels good to me, but if you're like, maybe this is way too fast. Maybe forget the arms, just do down dog to plank. Still work in the middle, more stable, right? So there's some options here. Five, four, three, two, good. Lower the knees, press into the hands, curl the toes, hold. Breathe, breathe in and breathe out. So your knees, you can even play with just like moving them around a little bit, but not letting any weight be supported by the knees in this static hold. Hands under the shoulders, back is flat. So you should be able to put a nice mimosa on your back. Good team, you've got just 10 more seconds. Breathe in, almost five, four, three, two, lower the knees. I can't do this without a mat. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it back into my equation. Left arm has the dumbbell, right arm holds the head. Rock yourself up and back. Woo! Team, we got 30 more seconds left in the third of five blocks. You're pushing that dumbbell into the knee. So there's no space between the, knee, the top of the thigh and the dumbbell. You got 10 more seconds to go, 10. Earn the minute, you're almost there. Try not to let, let the legs move. I just noticed myself doing it. Three, two, and one. Good rest. 60 seconds earned. You're gonna need your mat. You're gonna need your mini band. So if you have a mini band, awesome. If you don't, it's totally fine. <sighs> Midi band goes onto the thighs, so above the knees, not on the knees, okay? Really important. And it stays there. Okay. Woo. Okay, so we need both of our dumbbells, our mat, and our mini band. It's the biggest equipment phase of our workout. I'm gonna move this down just a smidge. Okay, team. Locate your weights. We start with a bridge and chest press. Band is on, feet are down. We have not begun the timer yet. I'm trying to find the right angle for my feet. Good, elbows out wide, head nice and relaxed. Tuck your tailbone, we go in three, two, and one. So bridge up, press, and release. So good news. This is also a little progressive. So at the end of this 45, we're gonna keep the hips lifted, keep the arms extended, and we're gonna abduct the legs, meaning we're gonna push the knees away from each other. 20 more seconds. Squeeze your seat together as you rise up. Super close. Give me nine more seconds. Good, five. Keep pushing your knees away from each other. I'm gonna turn forward. Hold the weights up, hold the hips up. Push out, push out. Arms stay stationary, hips stay stationary, push. Working those abductors, you heard me mention it before. This is the goal right here. 30 seconds, push, push. 
Feet stay grounded, weights stay over the chest. Notice that the weights have started to travel way over your head. Keep them right over the heart. Awesome, 10, nine, eight, whoo, seven, six, five, almost there. Last three, last two, one, lower the hips, bring the weights in, rock yourself up to a seat. Good, grab your, keep your weights rather. Feet flexed. I'm gonna lean forward, double kick back. Bring it in, twist and twist. Lean it forward, double kick back. I'll show this to you from the side so you can see what's happening. Reach, reach, lean, kick one, kick two, come back. Reach, lean, lean, lean forward, double kick back. Return, twist, twist, lean, kick it back, kick it back again. Return, three, two, one. You just need one dumbbell, so I'm gonna leave this dumbbell off to the side. We're straddling the dumbbell with our hands or our forearms. I'm gonna take it into my left hand, right leg, right hand, left leg, left hand, right leg from the side, just so you can see it. Right with left, left with right, right with left. This is why I love these non-slip mini bands. They really don't move. So if you've got one of those latex ones that are all the way up at your hips, it's okay. Just move it and keep going. So we've got about six more seconds. Five, four, three, two in time. Okay. You're in your recovery, strike your set. So for me, I'm just gonna bring my weights towards the back of my mat so I have them ready for my chest press. If you need a sip of water, now's a great time to grab it because we've got about 12 seconds till we go. Huh. All right, you ready? Oh, all right, moving hips, moving arms. Three, two, one, here we go. Press. Maybe I move a little faster this time, but does that mean that I'm working harder? Not necessarily. In fact, the more time we spend under tension, the more calories we could potentially burn. Everybody's body responds differently to weight work. So listen to what your body needs in this instance. Showing this to you again from the side because I think it's important to see that postural alignment. Notice my weights are right in alignment with my chest. Really important. Now, in a moment, we're going to move and keep it lifted and abd up the legs. Yes? Three, two, and one. Let's go. It's out, 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 out. Yes, perfect song for this. Push, 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 push. Oh my gatos, I feel my legs, shoulders back and down, hold. When are you done with that? Push, 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 push. Almost there, 20 seconds, push it. Oh, my arms are feeling it, my hips are feeling it, my abs, my glutes. You've got 10 more seconds. We get to sit up here in five four, three, two, lower the hips down, bring the weights in, rock yourself up. Good, this is one with the legs forward. I'm gonna hinge, double kick back, bring it back on, twist, twist. Hinge forward, so I've got a flat back on the hinge. Kick it back, kick it back again. My neck is long, I'm looking towards my thighs. Get it, return, twist, twist. It doesn't have to be rocket science on the twist. If you always go to the right, it's okay. I'm noticing myself kind of falling into those habits. All good. Nine seconds. Really work those triceps. Five, four, let's do one more kickback double. Three, two, set one dumbbell off to the side. You just need one here. Left arm, right leg. Right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg. Right arm, left leg. Again, showing this to you from the side, I think it's helpful. 
lift and switch. You could body weight it, right? Maybe I'm just feeling like the weight's a little too heavy. Maybe I just lift my palm. And then maybe I add the weight back into the equation as suited, right? Nine seconds left in block four. We will not see these things again. Last one on the right. And last one on the left. And that is the end of block four. Now remember, we still have another block. You're gonna take your mini band off. You only need your mat. Um, we will be starting from the knee, half kneel. So if half kneel doesn't work for you, you can hover the knee. We don't need the weights. We do not need the mini band anymore. So you can literally just put it off to the side. Okay. We go in about half of a minute. Cheers. Okay. So your first thing that we're doing, half kneel to runner's start. I'm gonna show this to you while you're in recovery. So you're gonna step your right foot at the top of your mat. Left knee is down. I'm just gonna show you what this looks like a little bit on a profile. I'm gonna lean into that. Rise up, bring that knee in, return to the mat. Rise up, bring my knee in, return to the mat, yes? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, 45. Return. You can go as quickly or as slowly as you want. Right thigh is already starting to burn. So the next action will be the opposite leg. Showing this to you again from a little bit of a side. I'm using my arms significantly to help accelerate my rise and decelerate my return. Good, 10 more seconds. Listen, we only have like three minutes of this workout left. So close, this is five, four, three, two, switch your feet. All right, lean forward, here we go. This one's really tough for me. I can feel my legs just really seizing up. So if you're like me and you're struggling with this one, you can skip the hop, right? So just lift, return, lift, and return. Always lower your knee with some intention, right? So not just slamming that joint back onto the mat. You could always pat up with a little towel underneath the knee too. Nine more seconds. So that's me hovering my knee to save it completely. Three, two, and one. Stand up tall. Right foot crosses into the curtsy and kicks. Cross, kick, cross, kick. Oh my gosh, this is just like the warm up, literally. So from the front, from the profile directly, I'm taking that foot across the hip of the left and kicking to the back corner, flexing through the heel of my right foot. Reach, kick. Hands are out there for counterbalance. <sighs> 10 more seconds on the right mover. <sighs> I made this workout up and I'm already regretting it. Three, two, switch your feet. Left across, left kick. Showing this to you a little bit on the angle. Left across, left kick. And you might not get super high on the left, right? Maybe your left leg is a little tighter then you're right. Not asking you to change it today or tomorrow. Just notice it. Awareness and shifting can come next time or the time after that. Just being aware of it. 15 seconds left. We'll get our last break before we move into our final set of our final block. Six, five, four, three, two, rest. Okay. Oh, I'm struggling. Always the day after a holiday, it's just struggle busting. So can we do it all again? Right? Just one more time. Body weight. So last time I had my right foot down first. Don't worry, I got 10 seconds. Left foot will be down first. Knee on the mat of the right. Lean forward. Three, two, one, here we go. 
maybe the knee does a little decelerated tap. You power up, how quickly can you get back down? I'm gonna show that moving knee off the mat so you can see what's happening here. There we go. Knee on the floor, heel forward, shift your weight. Rise, decelerate. Rise, decelerate. This one's hard. Why didn't I do this in the front? Because I saved the hardest cardio for the last bit. Ring out that juice, whatever you've got left. Three, two, switch the knee. So left knee, right foot, accelerate up, power down. Accelerate up, power down. Showing the stoop of that angle again. <sighs> nice light landing. <sighs> Let me back myself up just a little bit so you can see my knee. So my knee and my hip are in a line, my heel and my knee are in a line. I'm leaning my torso. So I'm pitched forward, I'm aiming forward and upward. Less is more. Focus on one at a time. You got 16 more seconds. Yeah. I'm feeling too, my right thigh is just like three, two, Last one, rise up, left foot, cross, kick, cross, kick. I took a little pause in the center, cross, kick. This is cardio, so if you can, avoid that pause in the center, right? If you can't, that's fine. Welcome to my world. Yeah, look at your target on the kick, boom. Kick that heel to the back wall. And maybe you're getting more mobility on this leg this round because you're starting with it. Sometimes it's that stabilizing effect that makes that musculature start to seize, right? Five, four, three, two, switch your feet. Last bit, cross in front, kick back, cross, kick. Look at that kick perhaps, cross it, kick it, cross, kick it. Inhale, 30 seconds to the finish. This is it. See your finish line. Finish it out. Woo! You got half the time remaining, a little bit less than that. Nice, these look really good, you guys. See that heel kick? Eight, seven, six, Five, we've got time to do a little stretching after this. This is two, one, she's done. All right, cheers. Make your way over to your playlist. I'm, I'm attempting to use this towel again, but I'm a little nervous about it. We're gonna hit that last trap, Cold War kids, if you don't know. Now you know. We're gonna stretch for a moment, not super long, because I wanna, be honoring your time. So give me two minutes, yes? Lots of hip stuff today. So take the right foot, cross it in front of the left foot, kick the left hip out to the side so you can feel that IT band stretch. Slide the right hand down the right thigh. Take the left arm behind the back. So you're stretching the front side of the shoulder from doing all that pressing. Good, if this is bothering your neck, look down towards the shoulder of the right. Breathe into that side waist and side hip of the left. Let the air out, rise up. Switch your cross. So now the left foot's in front of the thigh of the right. I'm gonna kick that right hip out. So I'm really leaning towards the right. Left hand to brace the left thigh. Right arm wraps around the back. Let's show this to you from the side. I'm holding my back and I'm leaning away from you. Breathe into it. Now you might not feel much of a stretch on one side versus the other. Press into the inner foot of the leg that you're kicked out from. Return to your center. Good, have your hands on your back. Fold your way forward, round your back, let your head hang. So keep your hands on your hips, shake the head knowing yes. Straighten one knee and then the other knee. Do it again, straighten one knee, doesn't matter which one, I'm just holding my back here and the other. Last time, straight with the left, straight with the right. Come back to your center. Bend your knees pretty significantly here. Turn the toes out, drop into your wide yogi squat, lift your chest. 
So to stretch the wrists, let's bring the fists together, excuse me, the knuckles together and ring out the wrists. Breathe in and out. Take the left hand to the floor, reach the right arm open. Maybe a couple of arm circles if that feels good. Return and switch sides over to the left. Couple of arm circles if again that feels good. Listen to your body, just kind of move it, spiral it around. Bend, lift your hips up, bring the feet wide apart. Drop it into the right hip for a couple, and then into the left hip for a couple. So I feel a groin stretch here. One more time over to the right, and one more time over to the left. It's okay if the heels lift, see if you can keep them down. Tuck your chin, roll yourself to stand. Shake it all off. Little tricep stretch across the torso, and that's it. We did it on the day after a holiday. So I think that's like extra credit, right? Yeah, it is. I checked. I Googled it. All right, y'all. Go have a fabulous Monday. Thanks for coming to class. If you have questions, stick around. We'll chit chat. You're so welcome. And 